Hey guys, Jeff here. It's uh, late November. We're out here trying to complete our November MTB Slam for the MTB Slam of the Year tournament. This is the third and final month, so this is going to be it for 2015. We have our five baits. In case you missed our unboxing video, it's a soft plastic swim bait. We have a spinner bait. We have another topwater frog. We have a uh, drop shot worm. And also we have a medium diving crankbait. So those are our five baits. We're going to give it a shot. Now I went out earlier this morning to the first location. We're doing a little pond hopping today. And we got fish number one in the boat on the I'm a Pin Jack 200 crankbait. So that's number one. It was a real small guy, just about nine inches. But we're short on time. We're going to mark that off the list and see if we can catch one of the other four baits. There's one. All right, that's fish number two. Uh, I was fishing a uh, chatterbait with the Gambler Lure Shaky Shad rigged up on the back as a trailer. Not very big. This one measures in right at 12 inches. So we're going to mark that one off the list and we're going to try the Stanley spinnerbait next. Alright, real quick, the conditions right now in Texas, pretty nice. The temperatures are in the low 60s, upper 50s right now. But the water is still pretty cold and it's also high because we had a cold snap um, around Thanksgiving and also some torrential rains the last couple of weeks. The rain has been relentless, so much so that I haven't been able to even get out and fish. So not sure what to expect today, but I'm hoping with the sun out and uh, the warmer temperatures that we're going to be able to get some bites on the moving baits. Got one. Oh, oh. The, uh, the reel just popped off the reel, off the rod while I was reeling that in. So that's never a good thing for that to happen, but we managed to get it in. Okay, that's fish number three on the Stanley spinner bait. Not very big, but let's uh, measure them up. We're gonna call this one 12 inches. That's fish number three. Let's move on to the other baits. All right, guys, we're gonna call it a day. Uh, but we did end up getting fish number four on that kicker fish tail slapper. So I'm gonna flash that across the screen right now. Kind of a crazy catch once again. Uh, we had some equipment issues. The uh, reel popped off the rod, which is never a good thing. Uh, makes it uh, very difficult to bring a fish in that way. But somehow we managed to bring that fish in and it was one of the better fish of the day, so that was great. Uh, so that was fish number four. We gave the topwater frog a try, uh, but it just wasn't working out. The water's just a little bit too cold. Uh, but we did give it a really nice try. So officially we didn't complete the slam. Uh, but four out of five is not bad, and we didn't catch any giants either, but that's okay too. Uh, before we sign off, guys, I do want to ask you a big favor. If you have any comments or suggestions about this first MTB Slam of the Year tournament, we'd love to hear from you. Um, anything you liked or didn't like would go a long way in helping us uh, prepare for the next one. We do plan on doing this again. 
the MTB guys and the hooked up guys. Um, really want to do this again, and I've had some uh, pretty positive feedback from uh, from you guys as well. So uh, we're definitely going to do this again, I think. But we want to make sure that it's, it's as good as possible for next time. So if you could uh, let us know what you liked and what you didn't like, that would be great. And uh, also a big congrats to all the other competitors in the tournament this year. Uh, John B., Cole, Tackle Junkie, Bama Bass. I had a lot of fun um, watching their videos and seeing how they attack their lakes and ponds with those baits. So that was probably one of the funnest things for me as well. So uh, big props to them. And uh, we will see you next time, guys, hopefully in the spring for the next MTB Slam of the Year tournament. Oh. Yeah. Better one. Nice one. That's a head shaker right there. Nice. Oh, I knocked my fish. <laughs> hey, 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 we're That's tossing them back. Movie. If you want them, you can have them. So you want to look for docks near that. You also want to look for docks if you can find them that have any sort of brush under them. Like this dock right here has got some brush piles out in front of them. Those don't necessarily make the dock good, but they help a good dock get better.